Welcome to Miss Ruby's Kitchen. Uh, today we're going to make the beautiful biryani, vegetable biryani without the stove. Yes, so vegetable biryani with no cooking skill, no cooking. Without cooking, we're going to create a biryani, vegetable biryani. So watch the entire video. I'm just sharing all the tips here and there. So watch completely and give a try in your home and give us a feedback. Okay, welcome to Mr. V's Kitchen. Vegetable biryani without the stuff. Add a little bit of ginger, small piece of ginger. Don't do too much, it's just a very small. And one glove of garlic, one small piece. And one chili, one fourth of the biryani leaf, and a little bit cinnamon. See that? Don't do too much, just a little bit of cinnamon. And jeera, just a little bit. I'm adding everything in small sizes, very little, because this is a fresh ingredient and we're not going to cook it. So you will really, you know, feel the spices. Now add a one um, tomato, just chop it, one tomato. See that? Yep, yeah. it's all ready, it's good to go. I'm going to mix it, grind it, make it a paste. See that? Biryani paste is ready. You can really smell everything together. It's a good aroma, it's very fresh. So you're going to get amazed. And the end product will be really amazed. See that? Okay, let's get started. Okay. Add a spoon of um, coconut oil. Don't add um, olive oil, olive oil doesn't taste good. So add a coconut oil, um, just a little bit cashews, just pieces, make in small pieces, just cashews. Add our paste. All pastes, see that? Yep. You don't need to add any oil, okay? I mean, sorry, you don't need to add any water. Mix well. So now add a lemon. Just give it a full lemon. You need a one. Just add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Don't do too much. Just a little bit of salt. It's fine. Good mix. Just do a good mix. So everything is coming together really good. So now add a cup of um, cauliflower. Cauliflower rice. So fresh cauliflower. Then add a cup of carrot. Add a little bit of shredded beets. Shredded cauliflower, shredded carrot, and shredded beets. Beets, you don't need a lot. Just add a little bit, maybe two spoons, it's fine. So now we have a cauliflower, beets, beetroot, and the carrot. Just mix it really well. Add a fresh curry leaves, just two or three, just a, should be fresh one. Okay. I can really smell all the really good fresh ingredients. This fresh biryani is going to be really great. You really need to give it a try. All right, so biryani masala is ready. I just gave a good mix, smash it. So see that, so everything is really mixed good. All fresh juice together. So now, take a cup of flatted rice, or a boha, right? Or in Tamil, they call it aval. Um, so take a one cup. Uh, the key thing is, don't soak in the water. So we don't want to soak in the water. So we're going to put it raw here. So we're going to mix it, let it sit, okay? Watch the trick. 
right? So I'm just add a one cup, don't do too much, just one cup. Yep, just now, give a good mix. Mixing is the key here. This biryani, mixing is the key. And everything is a small amounts, small amounts of ingredients and fresh, right? So give a good mix. See, I really mixed. I didn't add any water. So I just mixed very well, right? Completely mixed. So now I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to close with the lid uh, for 30 minutes, okay? Just close it for 30 minutes. We'll come back. One eternity later. All right, 30 minutes over. He came back after 30 minutes. Let's see. I'm so excited with you guys. This is my third time. Look at that. The flattered rice is really soaked up with all the vegetable juice. It smells so good. Smoke, smoke, good. Let's go ahead, kid. Give it a taste. Alright, so that. Give it a taste. Shani, you want to come and taste it? Give it a try. Mmm. That's very good. Good? All the flavors are very good. Like it? Yeah. It's a fresh ingredients. Yeah, it's all fresh. fresh. The flattened rice is really good with all the juices. The juices? It's all mixed good. It's so spicy or not spicy? Um, it's not spicy. Do you feel the raw garlic and ginger a little bit? Not really? Not really. Okay, let me give it a try. I'm so excited. You can definitely feel the flavor, but you can't like taste the raw. Oh, you cannot taste the raw. Okay, you can feel the flavor. Would that make more sense? Yeah, let me give it a try. Mmm. It's, it's really good. It's really healthy. It's really healthy, it's good. Tasty. You should definitely give it a try. See the flat rice? We didn't soak it, but now it's really got soaked up with all the juices. That's the key thing. Right? Hope you like the video. It's a really good and healthy recipe. Give it a try and give us a feedback. Don't forget to like and share our video. Thank you. Thanks for watching Mr. V's Kitchen.